Hi everyone, today I am going to talk about how to create a small machine learning model using the RapidMine. So normally RapidMine is a data science tool, so we can create machine learning model using the RapidMine. Uh, and the uh, the benefit using the RapidMine, so you don't need to know about the uh, programming knowledge, like a Python knowledge. So as we are training the models in the uh, using the those libraries Keras and the uh, Keras and other TensorFlow libraries, uh, so you 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 need to have know about this coding part. But when you are using the RapidMiner, you don't need to uh, know about those coding part. So RapidMiner also inbuilt with the coding. So you only need to know about how to those things are how to those process connected okay so let's discuss with those, uh, the rapid miner so this is normally um, the interface of the IDE so you can see the repository and the operators and the process inside this one so in the repositories uh, we are using the store those process and the data files and the operators um, you, the, there are several kind of operators in the rapid mine so we can use each operators to each specific task and also process you can see inside the process you can see the input and uh, result so uh, the process uh, we can create models inside this process let's discuss how to import the data set i also uh, create some small video to how to create um, import the data set into the rapid miner you can watch that one i will repeat again so you need to search first uh, i import the uh, csv file into this rapid miner okay? so you need to search read, C, uh, read csv operator and it put into this drag and drop into this process so then uh, you need to click import configuration wizard and also inside that one you can see uh, the, uh, I will import my data set. This is my data set. So this data set uh, contains the diabetic data set. So this data set uh, is a label data set, okay? So this data set label data set and uh, that is based on the diabetic. Okay, then, uh, then I need to put the store operator. So why I need to store operator? So because I need to store those data into the my rapid miner. So I, I use store operator. Then I connect those store operator and also connect to the result. Then I need to give the uh, the directory where I save those store data files. So I rename as data store and also click OK. Then I uh, run this file using this run button. Okay. So you can see the after the execution this kind of result i can get so this is my data set okay so this is my data set uh, the pregnancy is glucose those are the my features and this is the outcome is my label my label okay so based on these features that person has diabetic or not that is my label okay? so this is the outcome this is a uh, label data set uh, i can use this one for the supervised learning Okay, uh, and also you can check the statistic you can see uh, the mi missing values there are no missing values inside that one and also uh, you can visualize the, this data set using several graph so this uh, I also discussed that one in the, my earlier video then I will go to the how to create model okay, first I need to uh, yeah I will uh, create another process so before uh, before uh, getting another process i need to save this one i will save uh, this one as process one
then I get a new process to glam process then I store I uh, drag and drop this data store um, file so uh, what is that data store file so the, in the process one I did the those things okay so I I read the data file from this computer and I store this file after the running you can get this data store port. so then I uh, connect uh, this data uh, retro data store uh, into the uh, before I create the model so I need to have yeah, I need to have the role so what is the my role so I need to set my role so in the set role uh, why I put set role so inside the set role we can set the uh, what is the our output label so we can uh, set the our output label our outcome as a label okay, then I apply then I need to have a uh, split data training and testing split data into training and testing so I split data into the uh, first I split uh, 80% 0.8 is my 80% for the training and also 20% of the testing Then I uh, then I insert the decision tree. Yeah. I connect the uh, training data set into the decision tree. Then uh, in the decision tree, uh, these are the criteria. I uh, I'm not going to be remove these parts. Uh, this is default one. So default, uh, I'm getting the maximum depth ten up to ten levels. Those are things. Then I uh, apply this model. I uh, get the operator apply model. So in the apply model, I need to apply apply training I, I need to train the first model okay then uh, I need to test okay uh, this is the training part training uh, data set connected to the decision tree and the testing data set connected to the apply model okay after that I need to have for get the performance as well I need to have the performance so I need to get the performance in the classification. So yeah, I connect the uh, those performance into the apply model, the training performance and the testing performance. I uh, connect it to this one, and also uh, the performance should be connected to the result. So then I run this one, then I will uh, run this file and process. So after the run process, you can see this kind of accuracies I can able to get and also this is a confusion matrix I can able to get. In the confusion matrix, we can uh, get the relationship between true positive and positive and predicted positive things so in here you can see my predict uh, my decision tree predicted as a yes and no if it is uh, truly yes uh, this number of uh, this number of 17 number of uh, predicted as a yes okay so and also if it is uh, no and also uh, my model predicted it as seven it has seven yes Those is, this is a confusion matrix and as also I can be able to get the decision tree uh, graph of the decision tree as well you can check
it creates decision tree so yeah just uh, these are the my uh, outputs uh, can i can able to get this uh, creating this decision tree model so this is simple design uh, you don't need to have more knowledge about the python uh, coding and um, yeah so i think uh, you can able to get some idea about this one uh, yeah